14th President Franklin Pierce is one of the few presidents to take the oath of office without his hand on the Bible. He's also the only president to affirm the oath rather than swear it. In the Constitution, it's not stipulated that the oath be taken on the Bible, and the option is given to affirm rather than swear. However, Pierce didn't explain why he took the oath this way. Some say his choice was out of reverence, that he did not want to swear on the Bible, suggesting strong religious beliefs. It is in fact believed that the Constitution allows for affirming in place of swearing in case swearing, especially on the Bible, would go against a person's beliefs. But the devoutness of Pierce's beliefs is questionable. As a troublemaker in his youth and a hard partier as a young adult, he doesn't fit the image of a serious Christian. However, he did end up marrying a very religious woman, which may have affected him. Based on his quotations and stories about his life, there doesn't seem to be any particular religiosity, at least not until his final years, and certainly not more than other presidents who had no issues swearing on the Bible. More probable is that Pierce felt he was in bad standing with God. Two months after winning the presidential election, Pierce and his family were caught in a train crash. He and his wife survived, but not their son. He was crushed in the wreckage and nearly decapitated. Despite his attempts, Pierce was unable to stop his wife from witnessing the grisly scene. Jane Pierce believed her son's death to be divine punishment for her husband's vanity in seeking the highest office in the nation. She had always hated politics, a stance she made very clear to her husband. In her prayers, she would ask that her husband would lose the presidential election. Upon learning that he won, she fainted. Franklin often downplayed his political aspirations when talking to his wife. He had even told her he wasn't seeking the presidency. To quell her outrage upon learning he'd won, Franklin promised Jane that his presidency would help their son's career prospects. Historians have suggested that, like his wife, Pierce came to believe the death of his son was divine punishment for his sins. Though it's not clear what these sins were, his deceitfulness with his wife, his vanity, or some other action in his life. Quote, You have summoned me in my weakness. You must sustain me by your strength, Pierce said in his 1853 inaugural address. While affirming the oath, he placed his hand on a law book rather than the Bible. The tragedy would linger over his presidency. Pierce is often ranked as one of the worst presidents in United States history due to his inability or unwillingness to address pressing issues of the time. Some suspect that because of his son's death, Pierce had hardly any motivation to even be president. It was considered a melancholy presidency. He took to drinking, and it became no secret that he was an alcoholic. Later in life, Pierce would try to come to a spiritual peace. After his presidency, he was baptized into the Episcopal Church and stopped drinking. Nevertheless, the damage was done. Two years later, he would die from cirrhosis of the liver at age 64. While Franklin Pierce is notable for not using a Bible while taking the oath, it's actually not clear whether or not early presidents did so. This detail wasn't always recorded. From his own personal writings, it is known that 6th President John Quincy Adams swore his oath on a book of constitutional law. He believed he should swear his oath on the law he was promising to uphold. Neither Theodore Roosevelt nor Lyndon B. Johnson used Bibles during their inaugurations. However, these inaugurations were impromptu, as their predecessors were unexpectedly killed. Therefore, the fact they didn't use Bibles isn't generally considered notable. However, Franklin Pierce's reason will likely remain unknown. To support regular uploads from this channel, consider subscribing and donating to Resyndicated on Patreon. Donations from two to fifteen dollars a month help towards more frequent uploads. Patreon link in the description below.